Howdy, friends and neighbors. Welcome to the Health and Happiness Show. I come to you once again, but not from the radio. This time, the show is brought to you by God and all His crew. He granted me one last time to come and talk with you. Now, I've been away a long, long time, and it's good to be back again. If only in your memory, where I feel that I've always been. In 52, life to me was lyrics to a song. I never dreamed in 53 that God would call me home. I thought I'd live and love always and set the woods on fire. I was at the top of my career as a country music star. But it makes no difference who you are, where you're rich or poor. When the Savior calls, just grab your hat. I've been down that road before. Some people say I died too young, just 29 years old. But I learned more in those few years than most will ever know. I saw things happen good and bad, and each time I'd write them down. And with a pen in hand, before too long, a song would come around. I wrote about love and life and things that happen still. Like the girl who married, but not for love, and the mansion on the hill. Your cheating heart and lovesick blues, two songs I did a lot, to further my career and put me at the top. Some say I became a legend, that my songs were very real. I guess that's just because I wrote them the way I feel. Sometimes I'd even write a song about someone I'd meet. One that I recall was a bad girl that lived down the street. I was at the Lost Highway when Hank Jr. came along. He became my inspiration in so many of my songs. Bo Cephas, boy, I'm proud of you. You found your way at last. You didn't have to depend on me or old songs from the past. You took your talent to the world. You let your thoughts be known. You made your place among stars. And you did it on your own. But to stay on top in the music world, there's one thing you should know. Treat your neighbor as yourself. And be careful of the stones that you throw. I did some songs as looped and drifted. Most of Sears parts. But one that touched me most of all was a man with broken hearts. But you know there's no broken hearts in heaven, only peace and love. And I'm so proud to be part of God's family here up above. The music still within me that the world was waiting for was silenced years ago in the back seat of my car. For on New Year's Day, 1953, God called me home to glory to spend eternity. But just before he called me, he made everything all right. He helped me understand, and then I wrote, I saw the light. Well, that's my show. I've got to go now. That's enough about the past. Thanks for joining me on Hank Williams' last broadcast. So remember me in spirit and remember me in song. And if the good Lord's willing and the creeks don't rise, I'll see y'all again before long.